Our guest in this segment is Dennis Jarvis. He is the executive director of the Jefferson County Development Authority. At one time, one of the loneliest jobs, by the way, in the Eastern Panhandle. <laughs> and not all that long ago. Dennis, good morning. Thank you for joining us, sir. How are you feeling? <laughs> Oh, I'm feeling fantastic. Uh, you know, what a wonderful introduction you, you gave me. I, <laughs> I didn't know that, you know, I, I, I'm usually found on number two or three of the FBI's most wanted for other, other deeds, but not being the loneliest profession in the econ- in the East, greater Eastern Panhandle. That was really good. That was Hey, that was a tough job around the whole Rockwell thing, man. That was a tough job. Um, well, you know, we, you and I have talked uh, ad nauseum about where we were. Yep. And I'm pleased to come on and talk to you about where we are. And uh, I'm very hopeful that our team, uh, our board, and other community leaders have uh, created an environment that allows us to bring wonderful news to the region, wonderful news to uh, for, with you all, which I appreciate. Um, maybe we have uh, an enviable position that people want to aspire to one day with the JCDA. Yeah, it's a beautiful county and uh, one of the places I always enjoy visiting. I ride through Jefferson County most days on my ride home and uh, always, especially in the fall, by the way, enjoy it. Uh, and by the way, you have a business pitch competition coming up. I need you to give me some details on this. What's the genesis of this and what are you hoping to accomplish? Um, real quickly, uh, thanks. Good summarization is, uh, you know, in my past in economic development, uh, we've tried to leverage a program uh, or projects that will allow growth and increase investment or encourage investment, rather, for small businesses. And last uh, summer, I sat down with our team, and we were looking at our strategic plan, and we needed a vessel or a vehicle to provide some leverage to provide some assistance for small businesses in our county and uh, what we're focusing on here is uh, truly our central business districts the main street kind of uh, uh, business and it's a business pitch competition it starts uh, in about the third week of april runs through uh, the third week of may with a pitch uh, on may 24th at the shepherdstown uh, opera house and what we're doing is providing a platform, uh, educational attainment initiative with Blue Ridge Community College and Tiffany Hine. Uh, come in for five weeks, learn about how to operate a small business, how to write a business plan. And we're going to have a competition at the end for some uh, for cash stipend and some indirect, uh, some uh, valuable assets. And it's a, it's a wonderful opportunity to encourage expansion for small business in our county or encourage new investment for small business in our county. Okay, so let's talk about what you'd like to attract to Jefferson County in regards to types of businesses. What do you think the county is ideally suited for? Well, I, you know, we're, we're going through a larger study uh, right now, which we're going to come back to you later in the spring and talk about some target sectors for uh, business, the new business initiative we're uh, going to look at. But specifically with this entity, it would be anything from service related to retail to uh, you, you dream it, you build it type of initiative. And um, don't want to put a, a specific nexus code or specific area. I mean, if you look at just the statistics on us for why this is important. Last year, from the Secretary of State's office, this is uh, information from there, from uh, Secretary Warner's office, 659 new businesses were started, registered, with the uh, Secretary of State's office in Jefferson County. That was an 18, almost 19% increase over 21. And while we're focusing on small businesses, this is over half of the state's uh, workforce is in small business. There's uh, 98% of our businesses statewide are in small business. That's about 30% of what our current investment in the county is, is defined small business. So what we're hopeful with this, uh, with Jumpstart, you come in, you bring your idea, you develop a business plan, and you compete at the end for a $5,000 cash grant that's being sponsored by uh, the Bank of Charlestown and our office. Uh, You're able, those are what the money's eligible for is... uh, fixed operating assets if you're going to expand 
uh, a brewery and add a, a food line that you could have a hood or your fryer system. Uh, or if you wanted to open up a new line of product you're bringing in and you wanted to bring in uh, new showcases and reset your, your retail floor. And, you know, we have some really great other indirect prizes that are there, like uh, the Observer, uh, independent newspaper in the county is going to give an advertising budget. Uh, Jefferson County Commission, uh, Jefferson County Chamber of Commerce has stepped up with a, a year membership. Uh, SC Marketing West Virginia, based in our county, is going to give a marketing video that has a $4,000 value. And I smoke uh, Monday night while I'm here at the Capitol at the Cradle of Democracy for the state of West Virginia. I spoke with uh, station owner and now delegate Mike Hornby. Indeed. And we're going to be. Yes, and we're going to be working out some uh, advertising agreement with you all. Uh, WRNR is going to be coming on as a sponsor as well. Very nice. Johnny. Yes. The, um, hi, it's John Gilstrap. One, I'm relatively new uh, to, uh, actually I live in Berkeley County, but right on the border of Jefferson County. And one of the things that impressed me in my very early trips out this way was toxic Rockwell signs all over the place, which, by the way, I think it's probably time that they can take those down. Um, but it indicates to me that perhaps the citizenry of Jefferson County isn't all that pro-growth. What is? What do you think? Uh, you know, I, I think uh, I think concerned citizens or community activists uh, rally for causes that they see beneficial. And you know, ironically, you, you speak to that when we had our strategic planning session five years ago, we had almost a thousand county residents convey to us what they would like to see. And part of that was vehicles and initiatives promote, enhance, and encourage small business growth in our community. Uh, I think that demonstrates the, the participation level on a survey instrument. I think that, that outshines any, uh, you know, literature or yard signs people want to convey. But uh, I, I think you see that it's proactive in our community. I, I told you small business growth increased registration for the county. Uh, when I got there, we had a net 60 acres developable for sale in our Burr Industrial Park. We're now under 30. Uh, we've seen investment from sheets for a uh, distribution center. We've seen investment from uh, Speedway Motors to rejuvenate uh, a, a building that had set Faro. We've seen uh, an expansion at TEMA at $7 million and adding 15 additional jobs. Um, you know, I think citizens can advocate and stand up for what they want to. Business leaders make decisions on where they want to be and where they want to grow. Do you ever feel the, um, I believe I read that for the first time in, in decades or first or second time in decades, West Virginia has seen a net increase in its population, which is wonderful. Do we have a feel for how much of that is Eastern Panhandle? Oh, well, you know, that's a great question. When you look, just look at the data for the last 20 years from the U.S. Census. The number one county for growth out of 55 in the state is where your, your, your corporate office is, Berkeley. Number four in growth is our county, Jefferson County. Uh, I mean, we're seeing, I think the projections for us for the next census are somewhere between 5 to 10% growth. Uh, you're seeing that increase. Uh, and, you know, people coming in, we have... Uh, a record year, a banner year for housing permits issued at almost uh, a 1,200 for the county, for Jefferson County. So uh, I think we're seeing that all over. Um, I think the new investments have been made, announced in the Ohio Valley with new core in Mason and uh, the new battery manufacturer coming to Weirton Steel, uh, what's going to come in line with CNC uh, in Berkeley. Uh, you know, it, we're a pro-growth uh, pro-business state, and people like the quality of life, the cost of living, lower cost of living, and just like in Jefferson County, the ability to get out, uh, as you all talked about it, you can walk, hike, bike, play, uh, have four-season recreation now uh, based with our new uh, investment from River Riders on uh, the snow float, not snow float, but the snow tubing they have. We're just the optimal place to live. You know, I'm, I'm from McDowell County, West Virginia, and I was out of the state for 10 years. And when I was given an opportunity to look at uh, coming back to West Virginia and being in a great community like Jefferson County, I didn't hesitate to relocate my family from North Carolina. So I, I'm, I think that all speaks to we're a, a pro-business, pro-growth community.
Dennis, is that what that rolling hill thing is to the right of 340 as you're driving toward Harper's Ferry? It is. Uh, I didn't know, know they, that. They've, they've, yes, sir. Yeah, uh, you know, they are. Uh, it's going to be fantastic. Uh, I want to give a shout out to the ownership there and Annette Gavin Bates with the Convention Visitors Bureau. They've worked very hard uh, to find a new way to bring tourists into the community. Uh, you know, we're the largest, 25% of all tourism dollars originate in our, our uh, originate in our community in our county uh, we have a winter fest going on this weekend uh, that's led by the chamber and the uh, CVB so you know we're trying to become a four seasons destination and be quite real quickly you know we announced last week uh, a partnership we're trying to enter into with Comcast to expand broadband to almost 2200 homes in the county so the original question about increasing growth, increasing population, uh, the county commission is partnering with, a, with a, a blue ribbon provider of Internet. So we're trying to meet the demand for growth and, and expand broadband capabilities in the county. So uh, I think all our county partners, our municipal leaders are trying their best to meet the needs and expand opportunities for people that are coming into the county. It's demonstrated by new investment for recreation. So when uh, is this snow tube uh, operation going to open up and be ready to go? Um, that's a good question. I don't want to give you an artificial date. I'm not really qualified. I, I think it's been a uh, – I think they've got their, their CEO, their certificate of occupancy to move forward. I, I think it's just waiting on the weather. And I think we had snow yesterday. They've got the ability to make snow. It's just the ability that Mother Nature to work with them to – keep it consistent so i would say it's a february god deadline uh first week in february i'm seeing nice and you know that's a good segue back into we launch our registration for jumpstart jefferson the day after saint valentine's day february 15th and we're only limiting this competition to the first 15 participants not uh you know we don't have we're not going to have a, a waiting list it's the first 15 that are in uh i hope it catches on and uh, encourages people to, uh, despite what we've seen in the past, Jefferson County is open for business. And you can register and learn more about this at jcda.net. Is that accurate? That is accurate. And if you got some questions, uh, 304-728-3255. And please ask for our project manager for this initiative. Her name's Krista Hoffman, a bright and rising star in the Eastern Panhandle. And, and, you know, I just really want to thank you all for letting us come on. You're the uh, first outlet for us to announce this. Sweet. You know, with, thanks, you know, Mike Delegate Hornby. And, and, well, I should say uh, owner Hornby, Mike Hornby, uh, <laughs> jumping on. With Sir, us king, as a, uh, <laughs> emperor. Yeah, well, you know, we have to be the, the camp, you know, have to have the fair, fair doctrine, the fairness doctrine. So Mike was good enough to see the value in us and invest in us. And, you know, we've got BCT. We've got... Uh, uh, SC Marketing West Virginia at the Jefferson County Chamber. Uh, we have the Observer. So we've got a good mix of corporate, private businesses that are stepping up. And uh, we really couldn't pull this off with Bank of Charlestown. Uh, cash prize is $5,000. They've agreed to be the investor for that initiative for half of the cash prize for the next five years. So we've got right. our inaugural event. We've got ability on the horizon to expand it and add value over additional four years because of BCT. And, uh, you know, I think it's great that we've got collaborative partnerships with everyone, especially like yourself. And I I'm eager. And next time you have me on, I hope you don't say it's the, uh, the one is the loneliest number to be an economic development professional in the panhandle. I was going to say, at one, at one time it was, Dennis. Hey, well, uh, Keith Johnson on our Facebook stream posted this thought, as a Jefferson County resident, I want to spend my money in Jefferson County. Ask the residents what they want. What type of business could you invite to Jefferson County that the current residents go to Virginia and Maryland for now? Any thoughts on that, Dennis? That is a great question. Uh, that's saying, I appreciate that, and I appreciate we had a, a same question a week ago when we had a, a economic forecast for the Eastern Pain Handle for the next year. Um, we're debating that right now on how to act upon that how to take what community citizens, taxpayers are wanting. Uh, we have a conversation with a larger home developer in the county next Wednesday. Uh, we're looking at an external marketing partnership possibly that uh, during the budget session we're going to ask the county commission to help us fund to attract 
and expand uh, retail and uh, it, entertainment investment in the community. Uh, we have ample properties zoned appropriately. We have the right infrastructure in place. The rooftops are there. The per capita income's there. And I support and endorse what the gentleman asked. And we're trying to meet that goal. Uh, recruitment of retail is not traditional in economic development. Uh, it's new. But I think our staff, we've got a, a good staff, good team. And if the can Commission sees fit to work with us and invest in that endeavor, I, I think in a year, year and a half, we'll see a different change in the landscape for, for that. It's noted. We hear them and we understand it. And we're trying to uh, create a marketing program that's going to help us attract new investment for uh, retail and entertainment. I, I totally agree with that question. So, all right, I'm, I'm going to do devil's advocate thing here. Actions have consequences. And, yes. and the growth changes the, the, the nature of every, all, all elements of growth increase the likelihood or the possibility, not likelihood, of additional pollution, whether it's, it's groundwater or even light pollution. Uh, as we bring more industry in, all of those things that we talked about that are so attractive about the area, which is the lower cost of living and, and what have you, all, that's going, that can fundamentally change. I mean, look at Loudoun County as the poster child for what I hope will never happen here. Um, what, what assurances or, or how, how do you make people feel better that we don't have to worry about those things? <laughs> That's not a hot. That's not the fifty thousand dollar question. Uh, you know, I, I can't make assurances, but what I can qualify is we have uh, a very conscious planning and zoning board. We have a very conscious uh, planning and zoning staff at the county level, and you see that replicated, duplicated in Charlestown and in Ransom, and that planning and zoning goes countywide. And we are just embarking upon the redraft of the twenty thirty five comprehensive plan to look at 2045, the next growth projection. Uh, I think in concert with our strategic plan at the JCDA and the uh, county, uh, there's areas that are planned for sustained growth. There's areas that are planned to keep uh, green, stay green. Uh, we have uh, a wonderful farmland preservation director in Liz Wheeler in the county, which I'm proud to be on her board. Uh, she leads the state in, in properties that are uh, in the system for preservation that doesn't go to residential or any other use except for agriculture. Um, I, I think all the efforts are there to retain the uniqueness that Jefferson County has and provide those assets that our taxpayers are wanting. And, and can you ever create a perfect balance? I, I'm not really sure about that, but I am confident to tell you that uh, we have county leaders, uh, their, uh, county employees, department heads, rank and file staff, we have county commissioners and municipal leaders that all understand that and want to kind of keep that bucolic uh, nature, pristine nature Jefferson County has. By, you know, we got to offset some of that for goods and services. So I can't qualify that's not going to happen, but I can tell you we all try every day to keep things in check and work towards and from a plan every day. Dennis, thank you so much for your time. Again, that's jcda.net if you'd like to find out more and become a part of the business pitch competition with a $5,000 prize at the end of the uh, project there. Dennis, thanks so much. Hey, thank you all. You, you all I always ask uh, questions when you got to be on your toes. And, uh, <laughs> I, I, I think it's great. Mr. Gilstrap's going to have a, uh, a, a pitch night himself where his... Uh, for his work, he should contact the office and let us kind of do a uh, profile for him. Oh, awesome! Uh, about what's going on in the region. In all sincerity, I offer that. Uh, you know, our, our website's a fantastic portal for all things about the county, and we're expanding some things. So uh, this is wonderful. You let's come on. I appreciate it. But all right. I promise uh, our office is not lonely anymore. It's a really good place. To be. <laughs> I believe you, man. I believe you. Yes, hey, good stuff, man. Thanks, guys. See you. Thank you.